Hello, and welcome to Brian's Computer Retreat. In this episode, I'm going to explain how I used to load games on my Pippin over the network. Excuse the production quality in this one, I haven't had a lot of time and Resolve decided to crash on me repeatedly while making it. Also, for the demo section at the end, OBS forgot to record the audio coming from my Pippin. Yay. The final option I want to show off for running a normal Mac game on a Pippin is actually the first one I discovered. Thanks to a post on Pierre Dandumont's site, Le Journal du Lapin, I discovered that a piece of official Pippin software called Peas or Peas Turbo was capable of connecting the Pippin to a standard Apple Talk network, and just required a few special configurations on a network share to allow access to the files inside. You can see the original post at the link in the description, if you can read French. Bref, you'll need to set up a classic Mac server with a share called at peas server containing a folder called at applications. Within this folder, you can place 15 folders and applications, with each folder containing up to 15 applications or links to applications. If you put too many items in the folders, it will prevent them from showing up in peas. Of course, this will require access to an old Mac with a built-in serial port which is compatible with AppleTalk networking, or an A2 server instance running on your network with an EtherTalk to LocalTalk adapter, such as the AsanteTalk adapter I use. To make this work with A2 server, I created a directory at slash srv slash a2 server slash at peas, and added the line slash serve slash a2 server slash at peas at peas ea colon ad to the file slash user slash local slash etsy slash netatalk slash apple volumes dot default. Reboot and this should show up on your Pippin under the Peas networking application. For those of us who can't read Japanese, connecting to the server is the hardest part. To connect to your network server, click on the fourth icon on the top row, which contains a collection of tools for the Pippin. Within this folder, click on the third icon, which is the Peas server tool. When this opens, choose your old Mac server and click the top button to connect. Next, a screen will come up to connect to your server, asking for a username and password. I have guest access allowed, so I just choose the first option, which I believe means guest. Once you connect to the server, a server icon will appear in the top right of the Peas navigator area. Click here and your folders and applications will show up. Just click the button for the game you want to load and it will eventually launch. While I was incredibly pleased with the ability of Peas to launch Mac games on the Pippin, the fact that it runs over a local talk connection is a major drawback. The transfer speed is horrible, so it takes a really long time to load any games. It's also a lot pickier than building CDs to boot a Pippin, which will just work once you put in the effort of building and testing it. Thanks for watching my video. If you liked it, let YouTube know below. And consider subscribing as I intend to continue making some new content throughout the summer. See y'all next time.